Hey, how's it going everybody? Uh, today's video is going to be about ME, CFS uh, news, updates, studies, things that I, I think are important to share. So the Open Medicine Foundation um, funded a study that was designed to validate the increase of autoantibodies observed in the blood of people with ME, CFS. Uh, the autoantibodies are uh, immune proteins that mistakenly target and react with a person's own cell structure. The increased autoantibodies observed previously in the blood of people with ME-CFS appear to be targeting signaling molecules uh, that surface uh, that are on the surface of cells that are responsible for regulating energy, metabolism, immune system activation, muscle activity, heart muscle activity, and neurocognitive function. So uh, this is exciting and the findings say that although there was no significant correlation between autoantibody levels and severity of disease, uh, they found and concluded that subsequent treatments to remove these autoantibodies uh, improved ME-CFS symptoms in a subset of patients. So although it only improved symptoms of a subset of patients, I think that's still great news. Any help for anyone with ME and CFS is great, even if it's... So uh, the Solve ME-CFS uh, initiative um, is helping sponsor some legislation um, called HR 7057. And when passed, this legislation will bolster MECFS research at the uh, National Institute of Health by including an additional $60 million for existing MECFS research projects and expanding into connections between MECFS and COVID survivors. It will also enable existing public education programs to include ME-CFS and post-viral diseases information with focus on early diagnosis. Uh, so. Ed Markey uh, is a senator uh, in the U.S. and he's been kind of championing ME-CFS as far as legislation is concerned and awareness. So if you can have a family member or if you're up to it, write a letter, let him know how important it is for us to have an advocate uh, in the Senate um, uh, regarding ME-CFS. And so the more and more we could help them, not only with awareness, spreading the word, but with funding, um, I, I think it, it helps us all a lot. Um, everybody out there, I hope that you're staying safe and I hope that you're well. Uh, take care.